Okay, really late on this one, but decided to finally do my review of episode 4 of Thousand Year Blood War. This episode was pretty good. I mean, it wasn't as wild as the other episodes, but still very, very good. So uh, we start off with um, a continuation of the invasion, the Quincy invasion. And even though they were warned, they were warned multiple times at this point, the captains decided to use their bankais and... They get them sealed or stolen, and they're like, "Oh, I, I, we didn't, you know, think this would happen. We thought, you know, they get sealed, not stolen. I mean, you still lose either way, bro. It really doesn't matter." And uh, you know, the stern ritter are like, "Ah, these idiots!" And Maori's like, "I can't believe their stupidity." And honestly, I agree with him. I can't believe the captains were this stupid either. I mean, I can understand lieutenants in the lower ranks, but I mean, the captains, after all these warnings, does it really matter if they get sealed or stolen? You lose either way, man. This is not worth the risk. But of course, Ichigo. His is the only the only one that hasn't been sealed. Although his whole body now is sealed in some sort of portal because he was trying to get to the Soul Society at the end of this episode and that Quincy duty was fine ends up sealing him because they thought he was dead. He gets back up, shoots um, Kisuke and basically seals Ichigo in between the dimensions. But uh, I don't want to get too much into that. But basically they can't seal Ichigo because of his background. They can't seal his uh, bankai, I mean. So, um, you know, we got this going on. And then, you know, they're basically, they got their bankai sealed with this th thing right here at the Quincy use. I forget what this thing is called, but it's basically what they use. Um, that they use to seal the, the bankai. And then, rest in peace, by the way, to um, Aizen's long lost bro. He gets one shot at this episode. Just done so. One shot. I mean, at least he went down brave. He didn't run away like the other dudes. But, poor guy, he gets one shotted. Um, and then, uh, you know, Kobimura, you know, he gets called a doggy by Bambita, or Bam, however you say her name, basically, you know, the fan service Quincy chick, she basically insults him, and, um, you know, I think he's used to it at this point, but he kind of deserves it, because he was dumb too, used his bankai, gets sealed, so yeah, there's that, um, and then we got these two fan servicey shots, so, I mean, I guess this kind of, we gotta up the episode just, uh, a couple points just for this shot these two shots here so yeah i mean this episode was pretty good not a lot happens um compared to the other episodes but still a lot overall like compared to like a lot of other animes out there a lot happens in this episode um so yeah i would say this episode was probably seven out of ten i liked it it was pretty good especially those two shots at the end and uh you know the sealing of the bankais or the stealing was kind of cool to see getting to see Zempo Zakida, um, getting to see uh, all the captains fight. Pretty cool. I like that the animation is still top quality, still top tier. I saw some people complain about it. It's still good. And yeah, so this is my quick review. I'm going to be quicker on the reviews going forward. Uh, I was just a little bit busy. But yeah, have a good day wherever you are. And peace out.